Hi, my loves. Welcome to your practice for today. I am Belle, and I will be your yogi guide for today's practice. So today's practice is really all about opening to our upper body, to our chest, our upper back, creating some space, and showing some love to your body. Without further ado, let's begin. Today's practice, come in your comfiest wear. It's gonna be a cozy and supportive one. So grab your blanket, grab two blocks if you have. Otherwise, you may grab two thick book or two pillows and grab your bolster if you have. Whenever you're ready, keep them close to you. And we're gonna begin by coming into this butterfly feet, feet together knees wide open come to give yourself a gentle massage really setting the tone for the practice today as you tune in coming in with the intention to show yourself some love And once you get enough of your love massage throughout your feet, generating a little heat, you may come to your square pose by placing your left foot, left leg at a 90 degree angle before stacking your right above your left. So your right knee may not meet your left foot it's perfectly normal. You may wedge a block, a pillow, or a blanket in between. And you may place a block right in front of you to support you as we fold forward. Option is yours. You may fold forward, lean your head on the block. You may place both forearm on the block. Or if that all still feels too much for you today, you just want to sit straight. You may do so. So find what feels the best for you. Find the position that feels the most comfortable for you where there's no forcing. A lot of times we tend to want to force ourselves in stretching, you know, we're thinking the more we force the better. But in today's case, I want you to try to approach it and from an intention, from a space of love. So come to a position where your body feels the most comfortable and stay here. Eventually come to find your stillness through your breath. We're going to be staying here for a while. Allow yourself to breathe in. Breathing in throughout your back body. And as you exhale, release, imagining all the tension sliding away from your shoulders, from your back, and letting it go through your palms. Maybe take this time to take a mental check of where you're at mentally today. And simply observe and notice. Whenever you're ready, slowly walk out of the pose with your fingertips and slowly unfurl both feet, drawing in your left feet close to you, coming into the half lot of fish position, so lifting your right foot, right knee up, 
right foot remain on the ground and come to cross your right foot towards the outer edge of your left thigh so adjust your position as you may you may straighten out your left foot if you want to you find that more comfortable eventually come to sit tall find that length through your back body and next here is your twist towards the right side left arm may hug your right knee towards you sit tall so the twist simply comes from the middle and upper back here as you breathe in puff up through the chest lifting up sitting tall and as you breathe out deepening further maybe into the twist that's it on your next exhale you may return to the center slowly unwind and this time release both feet forward and come to give both leg a gentle wiggle saying hi with your feet waving with your feet rocking side to side with your hips loosening both legs and moving on to the other side so this time placing your right leg underneath in front of you at a 90 degree angle through your knee before stacking your left above your right coming into your square pose forming a square in front of you placing whatever support you need with the resources i mentioned earlier you may position yourself however you want to options are still there this side might feel different from the other side so draw your awareness to that be mindful of where your body is at remind yourself that today is all about sending love to your body as you come into a position that feels the most nourishing for you allowing your breath to guide you here and simply allowing gravity to deepen yourself into the pose gradually Be mindful of your knees here, my love. So if you feel funky through the knee, placing more support in between both leg right underneath your left knee would help greatly. By now you may notice yourself gradually relaxing deeper and deeper into the pose if you notice any frustration through the pose impatience allow them to arise and simply observe that they are there eventually whenever you're ready coming to walk out of the pose and head to our half a lot of fishes scooping our right foot in lifting our left knee up crossing our left foot over to the outer edge of your right thigh sit tall take a breath in to lengthen before exhale coming into your twist towards the left side 
Shoulders remain rolled back, chest remain lifted. Hugging to your left knee with opposite arm. Stay here for a moment. Allowing that nourishing twist to deepen with our breath. Focusing on breathing in, creating space, and eventually exhale, returning to center. Take your time. Sending both feet out again. Peter patter, paddle through, relaxing, noticing blood flow through both legs. Paying attention here to how your body feels. And eventually come to a cross-legged seat. Take all the time you want. It's your practice. Own it. And eventually come to place both arm to the back, drawing both fingertips to the back, all fingertips. Rolling your shoulders back, sit tall, and notice how you feel. Perhaps inviting yourself to close your eyes and take a moment for one deep breath. Hmm. And on your next breath in, Reaching your right arm up to the sky, bending through the elbow, reaching through the back. Give yourself a pat before reaching your left arm behind you towards the upper back to meet your right palm. It's alright if they don't meet. You may pat both palm by your back or you may come to grab hold and form an interlace before you tilt towards the left side opening to our right side body here gazing up and away towards our armpit gazing up all the while being mindful of the chest not collapsing so opening through that chest sitting tall and breathing in, focusing on creating space through your upper body here. Eventually, on your exhale, return back to center, release both arm, reach back, rolling your shoulders back again, sit tall reset before you lift your left arm up this time pat your back and reach your right arm back to reach for the left palm again it's all right if they don't meet what matters is the opening through the chest rolling back of the shoulder and gaze towards your left side Sending breath, big breath throughout your left side, breathing into the space between your rib cage, breathing into your chest. Feeling that sense of expansion here as you breathe into your left side body. And eventually returning, you got that right, back to center and release both arm to the side, drawing back further, rolling your shoulders back, take one breath in, you may stay here or you may come to roll your shoulders, giving yourself some love to the shoulder, rolling front and back. 
and eventually squeezing your shoulder towards your ear for one breath in as you breathe in squeeze and as you breathe out shoulders away from your ear shoulders roll back and down and stay here for a moment sitting tall hmm You may incorporate a little stretch to your palm by interlacing in front of you and facing your palm out, like so. You may stay still, option is yours. Eventually releasing the interlace and calm to squeeze your palm, generating a little heat. Before we come to interlace this time through our back, palms to meet behind you. Draw together as you draw your knuckle back and down towards the ground, rolling your shoulders up, back and down. Sitting tall this whole time, lengthening through your back. And breathe. You may tilt back, opening to your throat, or you may tilt forward, opening to the back of your neck. Whichever feels best for you. You may even roll one way and the other to release some tension through your neck, all the while maintaining that puff up to that chest, sitting tall. So you breathe in, noticing that opening through your front upper body and as you breathe out release your interlace and this time reach back and grab hold placing the awkward pinky above before you interlace drawing your knuckles down again shoulders back swelling through the chest close your eyes take a breath in and incorporate whatever neck stretch that you feel like you need today. Closing your eyes, taking one breath in. Deep loving breath, swell and expand through your front body and exhale, release. That's it. Give both arm a little shake, shaking away whatever remnants and feelings that no longer serve you, whatever tension. Now's a good time to release them. And option is yours. You may sit still or you may use your thumb and your index finger your right thumb and index finger to grab hold of the web in between your thumb and your left thumb and index finger. So pressing there, you may feel a tender spot in between your thumb and index finger. Press hold of that, close your eyes for a moment and stay still. This point is believed to relieve some tension, our fight and flight response, soothing them. So notice how perhaps relaxed you feel. If you want to press you longer, be my guest. Whenever you are ready, switch side, pressing on this time towards your right palm. And noticing that gradual release, whatever that means to you, throughout your body. Allowing that wave of comfort, of relaxation to come. 
as you close your eyes and stay still. Eventually, coming to release, give your palm a little squeeze and release both palms to your side. Good job, my love. Spreading both arms open, reaching up to the sky. We're gonna cactus for five rounds. Cactusing, engaging through your back, noticing your back squeezing to each other. As you reach up, next heel cactus a squeeze, puffing up through that chest. Exhale cactus a squeeze. Five rounds, eventually holding on that cactus, take one breath in. And as you exhale, crossing your left arm above your right and come to intertwine in front of you in your eagle arm. Palms may meet, back of the palms may meet, option is yours. Eventually as you breathe in, tilt back and breathe out, curling through the spine, coming into sort of like a cat cow, eagle arm here. Repeating a few rounds on your own, close your eyes, allow your breath to guide you. As you breathe in and out, noticing the space you create through your upper back. And on your final round, as you exhale and curl in, staying there, take one breath in, noticing the expansion through the back. And exhale, unwind both arms back to center. Repeating our cactus one more round. Both arms spreading open, spread open your wings, reach up to the sky. Sit tall and exhale, consciously engaging your back muscle as you cactus for five, reaching up for four, reaching up for two, reaching up for one, holding a cactus, take one breath in. As you exhale, both arm forward, this time crossing your right above your left. Interlace, intertwine in your eagle arm. And as you breathe in, tilt back and breathe out, curling in. Repeating at your own pace, allowing your breath to guide your seated cat cow here. Hmm. Taking this moment to release tension through the upper back. Creating space through the upper back. Eventually, on your final exhale, maintaining the curl through the back, bowing as you take one breath in. Feeling the fullest expansion through your back here. And exhale, release both palm to your side. <sighs> Feeling maybe a little more relaxed now. So take your time. We are going to come into sort of like a fish pose recline hero pose I would say depending you may sit in between both feet if your knees feel a little funky you may place a block beneath your hip for support or you may simply sit cross-legged or in your butterfly pose before placing a t-shape forming a t-shape behind you with your blocks and if you've done it with me before, you know this is my favorite. However, be mindful as you go down gradually, adjusting the block. 
slowly you may stay on your arm on your palm here or you may gradually move to your forearm reaching for the block position the block in the way that is in between your shoulder blades right on your upper back and let the horizontal block be right beneath your skull you may also place a bolster right above both blocks for further support if that's what you like or you may go all the way to the ground my loves really up to you so long as your knees are fine you're not feeling any funky feeling be my guest and come to eventually settle in by spreading both palms to your side and close your eyes Relaxing fully. And allow both shoulders to drop. Feeling that opening sensation, especially to the front of your rib cage here as you breathe in. And next you exhale, releasing all tension from the body. We're gonna stay here for a moment, really just a moment of reflection for you. Whatever comes to mind, I invite you to simply observe in a loving and kind manner. If you feel any emotion arising here, I invite you to sit with it and simply allow it to come. This is a moment to love yourself, to care for yourself. So I invite you to really embrace that spirit of allowing yourself to be here with whatever that surface and showing up to yourself with love. So my love, if you feel like this pose is amazing, which I know it is for some of you, you may stay here, remain here in this pose, not a problem. However, if you really want to end the practice in Savasana, then come join me as you gradually come out of the pose just as how you come in, be mindful and eventually come to send both feet out you know the drill hugging both knees towards your chest rocking side to side maybe relaxing through your hips and send both feet out or you may simply place both feet to the ground and allow both knees to knock to rest your lower back to the ground. Arms may reach up, grab hold of opposite elbow, or allowing your palms to simply fall to your side. Palms facing up. You may place a blanket on your belly, like so. And you know it. Allow yourself to come to relax. In this final moment, before we end our practice.
allowing the nourishment that you provided for your body earlier to seep in especially the love you send to your upper back your upper body noticing how much that benefits you mentally physically even emotionally And perhaps take this moment as a moment to relinquish any control that you think you have and surrender to the moment. Stay here as long as you want, my loves. We would be ending the practice right here. Sending all my love from me to you. I hope you're feeling better from the beginning of the practice. And I hope this practice helps you in whichever way or form. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy. Namaste.